Hey guys, what's up? This is Panda Ride 779 and I'm going to show you guys how to level the bed on the Robo R2. All the wizards can be find, found under utilities <coughs> and uh, under wizard. And it's basically all you need to um, to level your bed. So all you have to do is click on wizard and choose um, Z offset, uh, fine tune Z offset or bed calibration. If you if this is your first time opening your Rover R2, I recommend doing the Z offset wizard first before you do the bed calibration. So I'm go I'm I'm gonna go ahead and do the Z offset wizard and show you guys how to do it. So here we go. So when you click on the wizard, you just click on next, and the bed will rise under the um, the uh, printer head's nozzle. From there, you place a piece of paper between the bed and the nozzle, and drag it. Mm drag it and make it so that the nozzle grabs onto the piece of paper but not too tightly you want it to barely grab onto it as in the first sign of resistance when you're dragging your paper around uh, under the uh, nozzle you should let go like like 1.0 of a millimeter also on the screen on the very left side you click on that button to change the degree of change of, um, of uh, raising lowering the uh, the bed so right now I'm just doing that. I'm uh, I place a piece of paper under the uh, nozzle and drag it, and making sure that it barely grabs onto the piece of paper. After I get it to where I want it, I will start doing the um, the bed calibration wizard, and this is how you do it. Okay, so. You'll do the same steps. You go back to utilities, then go to wizard, then click on bed calibration. The bed will raise all the way up again, and this time the nozzle will move to the bottom left corner of the bed. Here again, you will use the paper trick. Place the piece of paper between the nozzle and the bed, and instead of using the LCD screen to raise and lower the bed, you'll be using the screws, the four screws under the bed to raise and lower the corners. <clears throat> So right now I'm just messing it up on purpose so that I can show you guys how I calibrate the uh, bed. And each time you calibrate a corner, you just press the next button and the nozzle will move to the next corner. Uh, the next four corners of the, uh, the bed. So I'm going to do that now. This step takes a very long time so I'm showing a time lapse. It, it, it's a very tedious task. So yes, again, try to get the paper to barely touch the uh, nozzle and the bed and barely grip it like once you feel the resistance let go like like a quarter of a turn and that should get you where you want to be so just watch me do this um, I'm going I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward it um, like a thousand times so watch it it's also important to note that um, the order of doing the bed calibration that I use, that I like to do, is I first do the Z offset, then bed calibration twice, then do the Z offset again before I do the fine tune Z offset. So after you are satisfied with the bed calibration and the Z offset, we will start doing the fine tune calibration, which is a lot more uh, fun. Um, yeah. Okay, so for the fine tune calibration, it's going to be the same steps as last time. We're going to go to Utilities, click on Wizard, and then click on Fine Tune Bed Calibration. Oh, fine Tune Z Offset Calibration, bottom right corner of the LCD screen here. Click on that, the bed will raise again, and this time the hot end will um, increase its temperature to a PLA uh, temperature. I believe it's 230 as um, default. and <clears throat> Before it it's ready, the um, the pruner head will do its nine point calibration, uh, bed calibration, leveling auto bed leveling calibration. I think I'm saying that correctly. I, I keep forgetting how to say it. It's a it's a pretty long word here. Um, so it'll do its nine point auto leveling, and after that. 
the LCD screen will change again to this. And from here, you can see uh, the instructions on how to make the perfect bead on your bed, the per perfect line on your bed. Basically, you want it to, you want the PLA to extrude enough so that it presses the uh, the filament onto the bed. So here, it just draws a line, and you can, s and if you see this. Um, basically the line is inconsistent. One side of the line is good and the other side, side of the line is bad. This means that one corner of the bed is, um, is raised too high or too low and you will have to just manually um, raise and lower that corner until that line becomes perfect again. So you can see me do, uh, do that. I'm, I'm manually adjusting the corner, the um, corner of the bed using the screw again to make the line consistent from top to bottom on the left side. So once you're satisfied with the left side of the bed, like the lines are creating nice consistent um, lines, you could switch to the right side and do the same thing. A good line would be one that sticks onto the bed. So, so if you run your finger across it, it won't slide off. It'll, it'll actually stick on the bed and it would only come off if you you actually pry it off. So that would be like the perfect consistency of, of the line. Um, if the bed is too high, you will notice that you, you will notice you'll be able to see through the line um, because the, uh, the nozzle is pretty much pushing the, um, the, uh, the filament sideways. So, just to let you know, um, this process takes, I'm going to say about 15 minutes and be prepared to use, um, I would say about uh, 10 grams of a uh, roll of filament. You'll end up with a lot of strings um, from, from doing this calibration step. Here's a picture of all my strings here. Oh, and I forgot to mention that you can also use the LCD screen to raise and lower the bed. So if you see um, all the lines being too too squished or not squished enough, you can raise the overall uh, bed by a couple tenths of a millimeter. So in this step, you don't you, you don't have you, you don't have just one uh, method of leveling the bed. You have both the LCD screen. Uh, offset and the screws to level the um, the bed and from here on you should be able to create the perfectly leveled bed which is very very important if you're going to 3d print and flexible filament or any other type of uh, structure with PLA it's um, it's very important you know and I think you probably know why all right um, the very final step is to print out a spiral calibration. Um, what's nice is the um, the 3D model for the spiral calibrations provided in the uh, flash drive. So all you have to do is go to it and start to print. And I'll show you guys a time lapse of me printing the spiral. It's neat. So if you leveled the bed perfectly you would not see any deviations while printing the uh the spiral calibration um the bed spiral calibration um, print so as you can see in this uh video the uh, spiral prints perfectly like like it's printing a perfect string of noodles onto the bed it's it's just, it's just crispy i was i was mule brano it's perfect this this just watch it's it's, it's beautiful it's, it's, it's it gives me 3d printer ecstasy it's it's a great spiral um and this when you're printing your spiral just look at it carefully um there might be a chance you'll find some divots in your bed um and you can see those divots by Noticing either um, flat lines or raised parts. <clears throat> I lucked out and my bed was completely flat. And 
It allows me to create this perfect spiral. Yep. It's so satisfying to, uh, to print this spiral. And the most satisfying part, the most fun part, after calibrating your bed, is pulling the spiral off in, in one complete um, pull, which is what I'm going to do right now. So this is a picture of my perfect spiral created from a perfectly leveled bed thanks to Robo's ingenious wizards um, um, guide. Uh, well, guide from the ingenious Robo or two wizards. <laughs> and this is me pulling the, um, <laughs> the spiral off my bed and it's just very satisfying. It, it feels good, so good. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for watching my video. I hope you guys got um, gained some something from it. Um, it's a nice tutorial on how to level your bed uh, perfectly for to create perfect prints. And yeah, there you go. Um, I'll also show you guys the consistency of the spiral. It, and be um, towards the end of this video and again thanks for watching if you guys like what I do shoot me a like shoot me a follow uh, visit my page at www.pandaright779.com on my page you can also order um, filament via my filament links it's a I'm, a, I'm also a Amazon affiliate, so whenever you guys order from my website, I get a, I get some um, advertisement fees, which is good and it shows a lot of support. If you guys uh, want me to add any more colors filament onto my page, I would do it, and it really helps me out. I need the money for college. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.